Have you ever wondered why some people insist the Earth is flat, despite overwhelming scientific evidence to the contrary? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? This is the shape of controversy, the flat Earth theory. It's a concept that has gained traction in certain circles, despite its contradiction to centuries of scientific understanding. This theory posits that the world as we know it is not a spinning sphere, but a flat plane. It's a view that challenges our very perception of reality, and yet it persists. It's a fascinating paradox of our time, a testament perhaps to the power of belief over evidence. But what if we were to examine this belief under the lens of science? What would we find? This is the premise of our discussion today. We're about to delve into a series of scientific explorations aiming to debunk the flat earth theory. Now, prepare to embark on a journey of discovery that will shake the very foundation of these flat earth theories. Ever wondered why objects fall straight down instead of sideways or upwards? That's gravity for you, and it has a lot to say about the shape of our planet. Now, let's dive into what gravity really is. In the simplest terms, it's a force that pulls everything towards the center of mass. And in the case of large celestial bodies like our Earth, this force molds them into a spherical shape. Yes, you heard it right. A sphere, not a flat disk. So how does this happen? Well, gravity pulls equally from all directions towards the center. This means that no matter where you are on Earth, you're being pulled towards its core, not off into space. This spherical shape, resulting from gravity's pull, contradicts the flat Earth theory completely. It's a straightforward scientific explanation that's hard to dispute. Gravity, it seems, has a knack for creating spheres, not disks. Satellites, those tiny specks of light that move across the night sky, also have a story to tell about our Earth's shape. These celestial objects launched by various space agencies have a specific trajectory that they follow. This trajectory, or path, is nothing but an orbit around our planet. But here's the intriguing part. An orbit is only feasible if the object it encircles is spherical. If the Earth were a flat disk, satellites would require an entirely different and quite frankly, impossible path. They'd have to continually alter their course to avoid flying off into space, a feat that's not only impractical, but violates the laws of physics. Instead, satellites maintain a regular orbit, continually falling around the Earth, guided by gravity. This behavior is a clear indication of a spherical Earth. So next time you spot a satellite traversing the night sky, remember it's not just a light show. Satellites, it seems, prefer to orbit spheres, not disks. Ever noticed how ships disappear hull first over the horizon? That's not magic. It's just another clue about the Earth's shape. Let's take a closer look at this phenomenon. When a ship sails away from the shore, it doesn't just get smaller and smaller until it's a blip and then poof, gone. No, it vanishes in a particular way, hull first. This happens because our planet is not a flat disk, but a sphere. The curve of the Earth obscures distant objects from our line of sight. As a ship moves away, the curve of the Earth first hides the hull, then the main body, and finally, the top of the mast. If Earth were flat, we should be able to see the ship, no matter how far it sails, just by using a good enough telescope. But that's not what happens, is it? The horizon, it seems, prefers to curve, not stretch out flat. As we've seen, science provides abundant evidence that the Earth is round, not flat. Let's recap. Gravity, that invisible force that keeps us grounded, pulls everything towards the center, creating a spherical shape. It's not just an idea, but a law that governs our universe. Then we have our eyes on the skies, where thousands of satellites orbit our world, tracing a circular path around a spherical Earth. Satellites, our silent spectators, provide a bird's eye view that clearly shows our planet's roundness. And the horizon's curve? It's not a mirage, but a tangible proof of Earth's roundness. As you move higher, the horizon extends and the curve becomes more noticeable, a phenomenon that would not occur on a flat surface. The scientific consensus is overwhelming. The Earth is round. So next time someone tells you the Earth is flat, you'll have plenty of scientific evidence to counter their claim. The Earth, it seems, prefers to be a sphere, not a disk. 